Tauka. Okay, so today soil microbes I introduced to how to evaluate the growth rate of fish by feeding. And so there are so many parameters, but uh, I explained one parameter to evaluate the flow of the protein. We can, you know, at the same time, we can vary the quality of diet, feeds, and so maybe we can estimate the effects on the fish growth rate. So, but uh, anyway, so we need to analyze the nitrogen or protein in the diet or with fish bodies. In that case, so we can apply the one method. The name is Keldar method. Keldar method. This is official, official method for analyzed protein not in not only fish feed but also any everything like uh, the meat or the uh, or some the another environmental samples. Yes. So this is one of the apparatus to uh, to analyze the you know protein concentration, but uh, this is very very classic one. Yes, this is for just the distillation. Okay, so shortly I'd like to explain the uh, what kind of the apparatus this one. Okay, now we heat in the distilled water in the flask. Yes, by heating, of course, the you know the we can put the pressure inside. And so the steam, steam, the vapor should be go outside because now the, this one is open. But you know the if you try to close here, here, of course, the you know the flow of the steam it should be go to another way, meaning this way. Okay, so this is just a waste line. So the the steam should be moved to like this, and get together here. Okay, so for the rise of protein, we try to put the samples. So samples should be previously hydrolyzed, hydrolyzed by adding the acid and putting inside here. Okay, so by hydrolyzing, the protein should be converted to the form of inorganic nitrogen. So it means ammonia nitrogen. Yes. So if you put the samples as a form of ammonia and we try to put the alkaline solution here and we try to put the steam yes so ammonia should be converted to gas under the alkaline condition and put in steam so it means ammonia the gas should be moved to like this and go to outside so it means to, to analyze a protein concentration so previous we treated by acid solution and you try to change the pro protein to ammonia. So by analyzing ammonia, we can estimate the content of protein or nitrogen, organic nitrogen. Yes. But I said the you know the by adding alkali and steam, so the ammonia should be changed to the gas, gas, and move. But there to correct the gas is very very difficult, right? Okay. So in that case, how we can correct the, the ammonia gas? Yes, here is you know the uh, some the I don't know some the you can you can look looks right you know here so spiral two you can see so we can try to put the some the cold water yes so it means the by cooling the the water the uh, the ammonia gas change to again liquid so many waters. So it means that as a liquid, liquid form, we can correct the sample again, and by determining the ammonia, so we can estimate protein concentration. Yes, this method is, can be applied for the every the field, research field, for livestock, the aquaculture, and some food country, food industries. Please remember the name of Kerudar method. Thank you.